Okay, the first thing to do is to get your headspace organized. So this one is going to send ADAT out to the main interface that's gonna actually be connected to my computer. To get started, turn on your slave interface, which is the one you're gonna send optical out with. Let's connect the cable. Go to the back, and back here, um, you're gonna put an optical cable in the out, and you can see I'm working at 48K, so that covers all eight channels of audio. That goes out, and then on the other interface, your main master interface, you plug it into the in port. Okay, so what we'll do now is, remember you've got two interfaces, one of them's the master one, and that one's the one that your, connect, your computer is gonna connect to and talk to. So the slave interface is the one that we're fixing right now, and we're telling it to send ADAT out. To do that, we need to go into Focusrite Control, and we're gonna activate the digital I.O. So, go to Focusrite Control, remember, make sure only your one interface is on, and that it's your slave interface. Um, then I click on the gear icon, Sample rate is probably 44, right? Because we're using one optical cable to send all of the, all eight channels. And then here at digital IO, you need to select dual ADAT. And then go ahead and close focus right control and restart your device. After you do that, after you restart the device and reopen focus right control, we need to define the outputs. So scroll down and the, the outputs are down here, okay? So find ADAT output one, click on it. And I think by default, it's gonna say, you know, one to one. The hardware input is going out the digital output like that. If it's in stereo, you might wanna separate those in case you have, you know, one channel fixtures like microphones or whatever. So um, you just toggle that and you'll get all of these mono options. You should have eight separate channels. And again, you're probably doing it just one to one, seven to seven, eight to eight, okay? Once you finish this, and you close focus right control, you should turn off your slave interface and then turn on your master interface. When you do that, focus right control is gonna to connect to your master interface. It's gonna say, hey, here I am. And then, um, then afterward, turn on the slave interface and it will run in the background, but it won't talk to your computer. It will have the settings saved and it'll send the audio over digital to your master interface, which is the one interface that's connected to your computer. At that point, you're ready to open your DAW like so. Let's say I come in here, here's my DAW, and I've got my mixer. At that point, I'd be ready to come in here and I could select ADAT1, ADAT2, you know, any of the options I would like, whether it's the hardware inputs or the digital inputs coming from the optical cable from the top, the top interface and that should have you covered. That's all you have to do to get this set up.